Hello everybody, today is Thursday, August 5th. Do you know what that means? It's National Oyster Day. Do you like oysters? Have you ever tried them? Oysters are shared all around the world and they're enjoyed as a seafood dish. They can be eaten raw, they can be eaten grilled or baked or broiled or fried. We can enjoy them as an appetizer, as a side dish, as a main course. They could be in stews and chowders and soups. There's so many ways that we can enjoy oysters. And did you know that there's over 100 different species of oysters? It's crazy, right? Oysters are usually named after the type of water that they're grown in because they usually take on the characteristics from that water, which makes them all different. If they were um, raised on the East Coast in the waters, they tend to be smaller, milder, and saltier. If they're um, on the West Coast, they take on a creamier texture and they have more of a sweet flavor rather than that salty flavor. If you like raw oysters, or if you like oysters in general, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the East Coast that are saltier and milder? Or do you like those West Coast oysters that are sweet and have that creamy texture? They all are full of vitamins B12 and A, and so they're so healthy for us to consume. Here's some more fun facts. The Chesapeake Bay produces more oysters in the world than any other body of water and the world loves oysters. We consume about 2 billion pounds of oysters each year around the world. 2 billion oysters, 2 billion pounds of oysters, I'm sorry. That's crazy. And how about this? Only one out of every 10,000 oysters will produce a pearl. That's a lot of oysters to get one pearl. You're probably thinking, Kayla, why are we talking about oysters? Like, how does this have to do with anything we've ever talked about in our Google Classroom or on our Zooms? It's crazy, right? I wanted to talk about it today because have you ever heard the, fra the phrase, the world is your oyster? I'm sure you have, but have you ever thought about what it means? It means that you're in a position to take on opportunities that life has to offer. It means you can achieve anything you want to do. So you still might be thinking, okay, I'm still really confused. Like what skill am I learning from this? You can do anything in life and you can achieve anything as long as you set your mind to it. So in the past, we've talked about goals and what these things that we want to accomplish are. So in the past, what have you thought about? You know, what do you want to change? What goals do you want to work towards? What do you want to accomplish in life? Is it a career? Is it a dream vacation? Do you want to live on your own or go to college? There's so many things. So today, National Oyster Day, even though it has to do with eating the oysters, I want it to help us help remind us that we can achieve whatever we want to do. You all have the ability, so let's make a change. Create goals, create dreams, and let's work towards them. But remember, we have to set both short-term and long-term SMART goals. These goals must be specific, Measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. We know that you can do it, so go ahead. The world is your oyster. Think of your strengths and weaknesses today. Think about what you want to attain and create those goals because the world is your oyster and we know that you can do it. Use the worksheets we gave you today to help along with this. We'll be on Zooms at 10 and at one o'clock today. So come on, we'll talk about them. We can't wait to see you.